Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with this lip sync getting its first pass. Before we do that we had a discussion in the comment section of the last video about how to organize keyframes along the timeline. So for now I've reopened the blocking file here so this is all in step keys and just want to discuss you know how much work you need to do at this point to get it organized. Um, so you want to stay in step keys as long as possible so everything's on the same key you see all the controllers are keyed um, at this point you don't want to be doing facial animation and trying to key that as well so get the body working get it all organized on keyframes um, make sure you organize your keyframes as well so make sure you understand what is an anticipation what is an in-between uh, what is hitting the pose and sort of overshooting and then returning so this, let's just take this little bit for example here so the eye dart is kind of like the anticipation. This would be an in between with controlling the arc and dipping her down. This will be the extreme point of it, and then she returns down. Now, if you follow that same kind of formula throughout your animation, then you'll have enough information coming out of step keys into spline for it to not to look terrible. So, so this is the file. You do have a choice. Out of step keys. We all do. John. So you'll notice there's a lot of areas here that are just left blank, which is fine because it's always nice to add texture within poses. Okay, so you don't want to pose out every single gesture and every single beat of the animation. So I've left space here for the equivalent of like a moving hold, but it's going to be there's going to be acting and stuff within the face during these sections, I know this, so... So at some point you need to start offsetting your stuff in your animation, it can't always be on the same key all the time. So this is why I suggest going section by section and start offsetting the body slightly, start, you know, um, redefining your arcs and overshoots and all that stuff and start breaking up uh, different parts of the body. Um, for offsetting. So it's really up to you to find your own working method and your own workflow. I'm coming at this as a guy who's done this for many many years and has changed his workflow over the years. Uh, I started off as very straight ahead and gradually over the time I've gone over to blocking and then I'm able to see exactly what needs to be done in the blocking phase but this stuff is very hard so you know if, if you are doing acting shots and you're really struggling maybe go back and do some pantomime acting so not necessarily characters talking but just try and do an acting piece that doesn't involve talking and I would highly suggest not even trying an acting piece for you know the first year or two in your animation studies because this stuff is hard it incorporates so much knowledge and understanding that you need to go through the process you know you need to do simpler stuff first get to know the principles so they're second nature then work your way up to this you don't want to jump in and do an acting shot straight off. It, it does take time to build the skills up. That's my thoughts on that and we're going to continue on with this video now. So let's continue on. I've done a play blast to show you where we're at. You do have a choice. We all do. John, I've never asked you to stop. I've never asked you to give up or walk away. I'm asking you now. Okay, so the plan for this video is to do the lip sync for this last section here and clean up the body a little bit and just get it up to first pass level with the rest of it. Okay, let's do it. This is the bit we're going to be working on for this video. I've never asked you to stop. I've never asked you to give up or walk away. But I'm asking you now. Okay, so I'm going to start from here and start putting in the lip sync. As usual, we're going to do the jawbone first of all. So we've got never asked you to give up. Never asked you to give up. Okay, so starting from here. Okay, so never, ne'er. Okay, never. So Okay, so the R bleeds into the ask. So we're going to open. 
heading up here. You too. Okay, that's very quiet. You can tell by the the audio going very small here. Okay, so we're going to keep the draw quite soldier in this bit. So to give keep it open here. Give. So that's going to be open there. Okay. It's going to be a V shape here. And then up, up. So this sort of shape. Up. So going into a P at the end, so quite closed. Okay, now we've got a, a stutter here. She goes up or, or walk away. Give up or walk away. So, or. Okay, that's going into like a W shape. Walk. So open up for the A. Walk. Close, walk, walk. Okay, we're going to anticipate away. Ah. Then it goes down to a U shape. And then back out into a ah again. It's too, uh, it's too close there, so. We're going to hold away, so we're going to keep that open and extend that. Okay, let's play that and see how it feels. Never asked you to give up or walk away. Okay, not too bad. Never asked you to give up or walk away. do for now. I'm gonna go in and put the sides of the mouth in. Never asked you to give up. Okay, so never. So that'll be slightly inwards. Going to an U shape, U. So quite extreme on the U. Okay, so it's U2. And there's a T in there that might need just to go into an E shape. And I'm just going to raise up ever so slightly as well. This will be a V shape here, so we're going to use different controls to do that. And that's where the P will be. Never asked you to give up. Okay, I think that might be a bit too open there. So give, I'm just going to bring that so it's not so open. So you want to listen for, you know, how loud is, here's the word that they're saying. 
as well. The louder the word, then the more open the, the mouth will feel. Never asked you to give up or walk away. Okay. So, let's carry on with the sides. Yeah, there's this orb bit. So, it's going to be slightly inwards. Let's do a holding key there. And then we're going to go into walk. So, about here, we're going to start really bringing her mouth in for the w. There's definitely a ooh shape here as well. Okay, and then we go into that crying bit, which is already roughed in. Let's see how that feels. I've never asked you to stop. I've never asked you to give up or walk away. But I'm asking you now. Cool. So let's do the last bit of lip sync on this. Before we do, I'd just like to do a bit of work on these eyebrows. They're just, to me, they don't feel correct at the moment. I want a bit more of a look of desperation on her face at this point. So I'm going to keep the same basic shape. I'm just going to raise them up at this point. Let's keep them raised slightly throughout as well. Okay, I fear of that. Um, so let's do the lip sync for this bit. I'm asking you now. Okay, so. So asking uh, it's a little bit closed there and then open at the end okay you is going to be almost closed okay I think that'll do for now let's do the sides to an U shape for the U. And relax the U slightly for the beginning of now. And then really compress it towards the end. the end okay and that brings us to the end of this video I've done a play blast to show you where we're at you do have a choice we all do John I've never asked you to stop I've never asked you to give up or walk away but I'm asking you now you do have a Cool, so I reckon one more video and then we'll be done with first pass and then we're going to get onto the polish phase. So we're going to get more into the graph editor and start offsetting some bits of the body and just generally making this look a lot better. So I hope you're enjoying this series. If you, if you are finding it useful, give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.